Is it recording? Yeah, okay, it's recording. Don't mind my boogies. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm actually using my husband's camera, and it's taking me a little bit to get used to it. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a, a, a few updates. Uh, this past weekend, I've actually been under some pain, um, which is common when you have PCOS. You have... Uh, some discomfort to your lower abdominal area which is what i've been having um i'm actually looking forward to my um, appointment with my OBGYN. <sighs> i thought i was done and over with those pains to be honest with you after my surgery when i lost the twins those pains have actually gone away for some time they'll come back every now and then and i feel like it's uh um in between um, cycles <clears throat> which I think the reason for this this time around is for the last two months I've had very abnormal um, cycles uh, I've had it for two days there was no flow it was just more of a um, more of a and I'm sorry excuse the man if you're on here you're probably gonna be grossed out by this so Full disclosure right now okay um, it's been more of a wiping situation and not only that but that the the color on it has been very very dark which to be honest with you uh, freaked me the heck out a little bit anyway um, aside from that I'm actually feeling a little bit better now um, I'm hoping I get a very uh, a very good results tomorrow from the endocrinologist and I'm not I don't have to take any medication. On a good life update, I got to see my nieces, which I have not seen in a long time. They are actually, uh, they came down from Indiana with my brother who is taking them to California. Anyway, so I will give you guys a better update tomorrow once I get back from the endocrinologist. And I am thinking about doing a little get ready with me in the morning before I go because... Or maybe, maybe not, since I do have the appointment at 8 in the morning. And God knows I am not an early person. I can sleep. And that is a big understatement. <laughs> anyway, um, let's cut this short, okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys. Hello. So, a little update. I did go to my endocrinologist this morning. And unfortunately, I did not get... The feedback or the results I was hoping for so what happened was the doctor requested four different tests to be done on my blood work last week well the lab missed one which was my TCH level and in order for him to give me an accurate reading he needs that TCH level so I have to go back next week to get the full results again um on a good note he did state that the other levels um on the uh, test that he that he had ran or he had the lab work run um came back normal which is good thank god um but i did have to i did have to reschedule my appointment for my OBGYN for medication tomorrow to next week as well so, uh, unfortunately, I will not have any more updates on that until next week again. Remember when I said you have to have patience because something's always going to go wrong? Perfect example right here. Something always goes wrong or something always gets missed, skipped or whatever you want to call it. Um, anywho, uh, I'm, I am thinking of kind of doing like a... Q&A with my husband to get his perspective from a man's point of view with this whole infertility process, you know, what he feels, what he what he sees me going through and what his feelings are towards that. Um, I, I know that it's, uh, um, and let me tell you a little bit about my husband. He does not hold back. He is as blunt as they come. And sometimes it's refreshing. Sometimes it's annoying. But anywho, I'm actually, I'm going to see if he's uh, okay with doing that little interview. 
Anywho, um, on Thursday, I'm actually going to go get my hair done because ain't nobody got time for Fifty Shades of Brown. Um, I will see if I can take you guys with me. If not, then I will be updating you guys uh, next week on the results. I <laughs> He's done. Okay. He wanted to make his little cameo. Anywho, so um, hopefully I can give you guys a better update next week of everything going on and give you guys a better description of the medication that uh, Dr. Mohan um, puts me on. Um, I'm hoping that I do not get any medication from the endocrinologist. Uh, I really do. Um, um, so far with the results that he said that he had, they came, which came back normal, I'm hoping this last one comes back normal as well so I will, so I can avoid that whole medication altogether. Of course, I'm still going to keep track of my thyroids and um, anything else that comes up. Maybe like my cholesterol. Anywho, uh, let me go ahead and cut this video short. I will keep you guys updated on everything going on. And um, hopefully the husband says yes to doing the little Q&A or slash interview. Um, thank God I didn't do the quotations. Um, and uh, other than that, then I guess I'll see you guys maybe next week. Hopefully, that's if I don't update sooner. I did try to do a get ready with me this morning. However, the camera <laughs> went dead on me right in the middle of it. So, sorry. But um, I'll try to do that next week. Okay? Well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to know about um, um, my personal experience or if there's any advice that you guys would like um if you guys want me to do a different video for the pcos and um everything that comes with it then you guys let me know um i need to stop saying um it sounds like i'm eating so much uh but there it goes again anyway um let me know down below your questions and I will try to get back to you guys as quick as possible. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.